Jones. Luckily, they're not going to one pass and hit it up. Utah State's going to look be very methodical, but right now getting pushed back slightly. A great cutback run there, but taken down after a couple meters. Trying to get the ball out quick as a scrum half. Trying to find that edge again. Utah State doing well to keep the ball in play, but goes out of bounds. That was a very engaging tackle right there. Uh, very, very intense first couple minutes here in University of Utah. Um, as we want to welcome you to the stream, uh, getting started here with the University of Utah Utes playing against the Utah State University Aggies as we go in for the line out. Got a five-man line out. Utah State decides to go early. Utah State gets the ball back and gets brought down the scrum half. Forwards are probably going to look into pick and go. So they pass it out to the right. Again, looking to kind of suck in the Utah defense with a couple passes close as he's not going to get down, but the ball looks like it went loose. Referee calls for a knock-on as that ball was lost in the tackle, bouncing forward. Uh, that is a knock-on. It's going to result in the scrum. Midfield. Utah looking to set up uh, a great attack here, overloading the right side, putting all their backs, including the weak side winger, all on one side. Uh, they've got about three quarters of the field to work with. Looks like they have their centers up in line, ready to punch the line hard. Might be expecting a pass out the back from the Utah Utes. You also have the blind side wing, so it might be a pop inside as the eight takes it weak side, fends off the scrum, but is eventually brought down. A little bit of trick play there. Utah trying to get them to commit from one side. An off pass there, not caught. It is a cold day, so handling might be an issue here with some cold fingers and cold hands. Utah State gets the ball, and they pass it out. Forwards have it, taking it in. Utah State again looking to probably pass one into the, into the forwards, finding the edge. Hard tackle there by number four as they look to poach it. Utah have it. Looks like he won the ball as Utah State's laying on top of it. That's going to be a penalty. So Utah with a great steal there. Uh, they didn't release the ball when they went down on the ground. Uh, common little rule there. Great work by number two. Uh, he tackled him, released him. They had the opportunity to place the ball. Spencer Hoon with a great poach. Uh, Utah, Utah State wasn't looking to release that ball, so it was a penalty, and they kick it forward about 10 meters. And they're going to be a line out, a five man line out to the University of Utah. Number seven, Ethan Churn, looking to throw this in, see if they keep this ball this time. Goes to the middle, great clean take, passes it out to a running ahead forward, Jake Kinevauk. It's eventually brought down after stumbling, bumbling a few meters. Utah contesting that ruck. They come up hard and attack. Utah State known for their aggressiveness and their physicality. Uh, and Utah is a team on the rebuild as they continue to look to build on some phases, looking to build some continuity here. Uh, ball bounces out a little bit. Not very secure in the breakdown, but Utah looks to take a advantage of it with Sam Longy, a great prop here for Utah, powering forward. Scored a couple tries in their last outing uh, here at Zions Bank Stadium. Utah again looking for one punch, one pass punching it up. Now the back line wants it. They're feeding it out. Number 12 takes it in. Double tackle. Great double tackle by Utah State. Making sure the ball doesn't get out wide where they had numbers. Uh, nine with a little step. Gains a couple meters. Keeps going. They're not getting him brought down. Pops the ball out. Very risky play there. And nine opting to just toss it out. Not very smart. Uh, Should have brought it down, look to reset. When you're down inside the 22, ball security is a priority. So you're definitely not wanting to throw the ball aimlessly like that. You want to bring it down, look for the forwards to come in, clear that out, and then reset it with a clear either attacking pod or back out to the back line. Uh, unfortunate mistake there. Utah State pinned back, probably looking to bring this ball down securely, looking to clear this out. Utah State now with the ball. Aggies, ball's in. Great run here. Keeps going forward. Utah not bringing him down. Didn't hold him down in the tackle. As Utah State now passes it out into the forward pack. Sends it down. One pass hits, hits it up. Another pass out to number 10. Weaving through the tackle. A nice offload there. As he goes sprinting down. Got some space to run. 
Utah scrambling in defense. Utah State probably going to look to pass this out wide left. They've got numbers off the defense. Utah's defense is stumbling. But it looks like the Utes have now stabilized their defense a little bit. Utah State slowing it down, getting their numbers, getting reorganized on their attack. Utah doesn't like the ball in their half, so they're going to contest that ruck. As they're going forward, a little bit of bumping into each other there. As Utah State now slows it down even more, passes it out. One pass hit up. Passes it out to the left now. As they're going forward, passes it to a big forward, forward on forward action there. He's brought down behind the line to gain. Utah State looking to go fast. Utah State playing with some energy and some, some speed here. Utah State getting knocked back on defense. Utah coming up on defense hard, looking to attack them and keep them behind that gain line. Utah gets the ball back. They've got some numbers here with their eight. They've got an overlap, two on one. See if they execute that well. They execute it really well. Number 11, however, just didn't have enough space to work. Utah State was high on that. Unfortunate for Utah State, fortunate for Utah. Uh, since it was going to be out of bounds, it's going to be Utah State ball. That high tackle just pinned them back even more. They now have a penalty opportunity to kick that down. and Oh, they go for a quick tap. Looking to catch Utah State off guard. They crash that ball in. Utah State has a nice setup on their back line there. Looking maybe to keep it with the forwards a couple phases, sucking some of that Utah State defense with their big forwards. Uh, drawing some numbers as, again, the Utah prop goes barreling through. Another take by Sam Longy, a great prop there for Utah. He scored multiple tries here against Air Force a couple weeks ago. He's now in past the try line again, 5-0 uh, to Utah. Great little offensive play there. The Utah's forwards handling it well. Uh, Utah State having a hard time getting some go forward ball on offense. They're trying to exploit that kind of quick speed out on the outside, but not really getting it there with those one passes. Utah takes advantage of that and barrels on down with their big forward pack. Utah, of course, a great rugby team here in the state of Utah, um, looking to rebuild. They've done a lot of great recruiting in different states and in the state of Utah, so expect to have an awesome team here in a couple years, this year, next year, and a couple years here with a great coaching staff. Utah has some great alumni as well, uh, so see some great experience coming back to help coach and lead these young men, hopefully on to greater and bigger heights. 10 with a great kick. Ooh, just slightly curves it past the right post. Unfortunate there. It's def difficult kick, but did well to try and get that close, and I'm sure he'll get it next time. And in rugby, when you score, you get the ball back, a little bit of a reward for working hard. And so Utah State here is set to kick this ball back to Utah. Rugby's going through a little bit of a awesome resurgence here and exciting to see two great teams go after it here in Harriman, Utah. Utah kicks it back. They see a lot of space, a booming kick. That was massive, but it might be a little bit too far. See if it hangs up a bit. It will stop in the try zone, so that will be a five line, a goal line drop kick. New rule there, uh, kind of changed that used to be a 22 meter drop kick, but now it's a goal line drop kick uh, when that ball is touched back by the defending team in their own try zone. So Utah State again under pressure. Looks like that's what Utah wants to do is keep them under pressure on their half. It's very evident when Utah gets in their half, their defense goes up a notch, and they want to push Utah State back a little bit. As we see Alex McCain kick this ball off, quick 22 meters. We've got Ian Wormer taking that ball, a little bit of a step, takes it down. Utah again looking to pass it out to their forwards, keeping it with the pack. 
They've got a lot of size on Utah State, but Utah State is feisty, athletic, and, and very well um, built to kind of handle that speed. But Utah just has a couple of extra poundage on them as Utah continues to barrel forward, breaking back past that first contact and needing multiple players to bring them down. Utah State now looking to pick and go with their big forwards. They've got some productive men up front. Just a hair off the try line there. As Utah, as Utah again barrels over, and that's another try. The University of Utah forwards, I believe that's Sam Longy again. Uh, University of Utah forwards is putting in work up front. Utah State, uh, as I said, are very athletic, uh, very, very, very speedy. Uh, however, the Utah forwards just have that extra weight. They have that extra size, and that's a huge factor here in college rugby. Uh, you know, it's hard to bring them down that first hit. And when you need two, three people to bring down a forward, that sucks in a lot of defenders. And that's going to make it hard to continually defend when the ball gets going faster and faster. So 10 with the kick right in front. Wherever you place the ball down when you score, it gets brought back parallel. So he should have no problem. He has no problem slotting that through. Uh, so that's a lot of a little bit of an easier kick for him as the score is now 12 to 0. Again, Utah State struggling to bring down those tackles on the first hit, uh, needing two, three defenders to bring down one Utah runner. Uh, that's going to be a challenge for Utah State going forward if they can't bring down those, those runners on that first initial contact. Uh, going to make a lot of pressure for their defense going forward. A great take there, but Utah State seems to knock it on. Utah retains possession, playing a little bit of advantage there. Ref blows it up just as 24 goes through. And we're going to be down for a scrum to Utah. Gennaro Vi Viorillo uh, in for the put-in. Sorry if I mispronounce any names all quite unique. But Utah here again, probably their back line seems to be really shallow with some uh, defenders up close to the line, with some centers uh, up close to the line, probably looking to hit this ball up real quick, then recycle and probably clear it out, wanting to play that ball in the other half. As Logan Shannon does exactly that, he takes the ball in, gains a couple yards, as they recycle that ball, and they've got space on the outside, so they skip passes it. Beautiful skip pass over the top. Uh, Utah gained quite a few meters there. Unfortunately brought down, and Utah State tries to go over the top to stop it, but loses his feet as he's trying to poach it, just like that Utah. Uh, just had a technical issue. Uh, just like that Utah hooker did that uh, previously, uh, just a little bit of poaching there. Utah State tried to do the same but didn't keep his feet, um, and unfortunately a penalty against Utah State. Utah kicked it down. Line out for Utah. They go quick to the front, quickly brought down by Utah State, well defended. And Utah again looking to keep it with their forwards. Slowly passing it out, doing a, some passing to try and find a gap for their forwards, passing it out to the backs now. Pretty well lined up here, three on three. Let's see what you can do. They got a little bit of spacing. That U Utah State wing got cut in a little bit. Uh, great offload back inside to the 15. The forwards again, pick and go. Utah State again requiring a few players that to bring them down. As again, Utah with that pick and go. Right here, you'd want to see them hit the beaches, Utah State, to try and get beneath those uh, those larger Utah State forwards. However, Utah State did a great well, great, really well to bring them down there. Now we've got a huge overlap here, two on four. See if Utah can handle that. And it looks like he was he was brought down and knocked it on. So unfortunate there to Utah. Uh, four on two should be a try all day long, but Utah State did well to slow play that. Uh, not sure exactly what happened there, but referee determined that it was a knock-on. So 
And Utah State with an awesome defense there. Uh, very rare that you see two on four stop, stopping that. Um, great play there. Utah State probably doesn't like playing a whole lot inside their own 22, so probably looking for an eight pick or a center crash here to kind of create some space off this scrum and then look to clear it right after. Um, they might just kick it right out, right off the bat, and they do. Risky kick, but he gets a little bit of mileage there. Uh, Utah gets it, though, running full speed ahead. Is finally brought down. Utah State trying to hold him up to get that ball back. Utah with the quick recycle, fake it out to the wide, to right, back to the left. Looked like that might have been a forward pass or rolled forward, but ref said it was okay, so continued playing. Again, pass out to the big prop for Utah. Brought down with a nice low chopping tackle. Utah again barreling forward with their forwards. Very, very athletic. Seem to be offloading the ball well. Staying low, driving those legs. Utah State again holding that line, trying to defend on their on their try line. Not easy to do, especially in this cold weather. Uh, it is a factor, and as you can probably hear, very windy. And that's a try to Utah. Another hard-fought try by the forwards, continually recycling, recycling quick. That puts a challenge onto Utah State. Utah State's doing well to defend the first couple phases, but that recycle slowly catches up to them uh, as more and more players are required to bring down some runners. Uh, not the easiest thing to do, especially in this cold weather. And Utah State's doing well in those first couple phases, but every now and again, Utah finds a, an opportunity to exploit that, and they sure do as they're up 17-0 with a difficult kick coming up. Again, like I mentioned, Utah is coming up. They've got some great alumni, Don Patti, uh, Johnny Utah, some great alumni that come back and coach on a regular basis. New coaching staff looking to elevate the performance of these players and bring in some more technical knowledge. Uh, should be a really exciting team to watch in these coming years as the 10 takes that kick and looks like he slots it through this time. So learn from his first miss and slots it through this time as Utah goes up 19 to zero with 20 minutes left in the half. Utah State again coming up to look to, looking to restart this game, kicking it off to Utah. Utah State restarts the ball, kicks it down. Great take by Utah, but knocks it on right into the arms of Utah State. Now they've got a great attacking platform, their best of the game. Utah State looking to take an advantage of this. Feeds it back inside to a hard running wing there. And that's a penalty. Looks like for a high tackle on Utah. Looking for a quick tap, but that ball did not leave his hands. Unfortunate there, looking to take advantage of that. But if I was Utah State, I'd look to kind of kick for yardage, look for territory, but they go for a quick tap with the Utah line and set in defense. Utah State looking for a gap, decides to take it into contact, driven back a couple meters. Again, this contact, Utah seems to be winning, so Utah State is gonna look to try and find some gaps on the edge, look for some space to exploit with their speed and athleticism, and play the game to their, to their strengths. Utah State with a great running on tackle, that was a great ball into space. Utah did well to defend that. Utah State again feeding on oh, that huge gap as Utah defense comes up, creating gaps on each side. Ten weaving back and forth. Takes two Utah players to bring him down. Looking to offload, but doesn't do it. But then hands it off to his set. scrum half, and that's a try to the side. Impressive try there. A uh, little bit of a little bit of a mistake on the Utah defense as they tried to come up quick, but not together. Uh, you do want to come up quick on defense, try and cut off any space that they might have. Utah just came up too quick and not in a line. So the outside defenders were coming up too quick. Um, 
not able to kind of work in in unison there in the 10 saw gap used his speed to come right through like i said his athleticism great little pop up to a scrum half who went over for a try and uh, this game is going to be good utah looking like they were going to pull away but utah state determining not to not to let that happen great in-state rivalry going on here um should be uh should be some fireworks as we've seen Utah again has the size, has the power, has the uh, has the go forward momentum. But Utah State don't underestimate their speed and athleticism. Uh, a great matchup, and we'll see the winner is going to be whoever can play to their strengths the best. Um, if Utah State can continue to exploit those gaps and use their speed, that's going to be very entertaining and a, a fun game for them. But if Utah continues to barrel down with their forwards and with their size and power, that's going to be hard for them to stop. And just short and a bit to the right. Unfortunate there. As the score remain as the score is now 19 to 5. Go, Utah now has the privilege of kicking back to Utah State. Unfortunate restart there by the Utah fly half. Um, Going to be a center field scrum there, an option to re-kick. Uh, generally best to take that center field scrum. We'll take a look and see how Utah State decides to line up on their on this attacking platform. We've got three on each side. Looks like we've got Fly half center and a wing on one side. Fly half, uh, wing full back and center on the other. Utah's decided to go three on two with their full back in the middle. Interesting defensive setup. Should be an entertaining little set piece play here. We see their, the Utah State backs talking to each other, trying to exploit some gaps with their speed. And Utah looking to kind of power through with their forwards, see if they can prevent this ball from getting out and using that attacking platform. Utah centers are in close. Looks like Utah State's going to go to the left here. They go, they do go to the left. They do have a little bit of space. They pass it out, skip pass, but unfortunately not able to bring that in. It is cold, so wouldn't be surprised if that's a factor there. Uh, he did have a couple meters there, but great filling defense on by Utah by the fullback and wing uh, to come cover that over. He had about 10 meters before going into contact against two Utah pl defensive players. Uh, that's that's really clinical defense, probably great coaching by University of Utah coaching staff to get that uh, wing fullback shift going to make sure the defense is being covered, no gaps are being exploited, uh, to make sure that Utah State doesn't use their speed on the outside edge as they are one to do. Utah now with an attacking scrum. We got a flat center pairing. Probably looking to one pass, crash it up their centers, but eight picked it up. Unfortunately, the ref blows that up and looking to restart that scrum, something that he's not happy with. The scrum, the laws of the scrum are quite a fun and complicated set of rules. Uh, the ref uses his discretion to determine what's a stable platform, what's a clear bind, what's a, what's a good contact. And you can see there that prop on the left didn't go in all the way. So it's going to be a penalty to Utah State. Unfortunate penalty there. Looks like it might have been a little bit of miscommunication or misunderstanding. Uh, Utah State looking to quick tap again, use their speed. And again, good little cutback there. 13 with a little bit of handles. Looking to trick them out, but Utah State over the ball. Looking to reset fast, pass it out. 12 keeps it, sees the gap, powers through with some high step and legs. Great offload there, but doesn't go into, go, doesn't go into hands. Great little bump there with contact with the forward on the back. 
Uh, forwards are going to eat that up all day, especially Utah forwards. And that's a penalty for not releasing. Again, Utah's doing well to get over that ball. Another great example of great coaching to release the player that was the ball carrier, get over the ball, go for the poach. Uh, and this time Utah State wasn't letting go, so the ref had to blow it up and gave the penalty to Utah. Utah State looking to opt for all penalties to quick tap. Uh, shows that they're not really confident in their set piece play, their scrums and lineouts. Uh, but that is one of their strengths. They, they are looking to use that speed. They do have a lot of athleticism, so playing to, playing to those strengths. Midfield line out, going to the middle pairing, down to the backs, again out to the props. Barrels forward there, it's brought down, good eight meter gain. Passes the ball out. Great little line out there, good, good example of some great passing. Slowly brought down by Utah State after a couple fends. Running on forward, great little catch there. Running into space, running hard into the contact. Utah State looking to hold them up, try and get that ball back, but Utah goes down. Recycle, Utah State offsides. Advantage being played. Great offload to Sav Longy. Longy fends them off, and you're not going to bring him down, but is eventually brought down. A great tackle by the fullback on that defense. Utah State looking to bring it back against a a scrambling defense eventually brought down and the ref's going to blow that up might have a little bit of a talking to with someone create some space he's not happy with something going to go talk to his assistant referee here looks like he might be reaching into his pocket he's not happy with something he does reach into his pocket and it's a yellow card I can only assume, see what his hand signals are, see what it might be. That is 10 minutes in the sin bin for being bad. Uh, offsides, not sure if that's, oh, but Utah goes over, easy peasy. Big forwards, running head start, going to be hard to stop. Utah with another try, great try uh, after yellow card to Utah State, trying to figure out what exactly that was. I'm assuming it's going to be some extracurricular going on. Uh, saw a little bit of a scuffle going on between a Utah player and a Utah State player. Um, ref was quick to go into his pocket and sort that out easily so that it stops right there with this intense rivalry game. Some fireworks happening. One wants to make sure that he's keeping it under control. Again, the Utah 10 missed a kick earlier from this spot, so we'll see if he course corrects and slots this one through this time. Right-footed kicker on the right side. Generally not the best as it generally curves left. But this time he curves it right again. So right side of the field unlucky. Might need to tell the rest of his team to score on the left side of the field from here on out. With 10 minutes left in the first half, Utah State bringing the ball back up to restart this game. Utah again showing just how strong and powerful they are up front. Some great go forward ball, hard running by their forwards. Some great skills by their backs once they have space. But don't underestimate the Utah State Aggies and their speed and athleticism. They will take advantage of any gaps that they're given as we've seen with a couple line breaks. So. Should see an interesting second half and the remainder of 10 minutes this half as a great restart there by Utah. Just barely goes 10 meters and Utah State gets that ball back. Scrum half goes for a little bit of a scramble there, a couple meter gain, but unfortunately is down, so got to bring in the fly half to pass that out. Passes it out to a large forward, bumbling forward, but unfortunately doesn't keep it. But ref was playing advantage for offsides. Uh, fortunate for Utah State, unfortunate for Utah. That was a great steal from a running forward, a powerful forward. 
Utah State now looking to get some speed, looking to get some space, play some territory, kicking it out as their ref yells it in, but not a good kick there at all. Not even close to going out. Unfortunate mistake there by Utah State, unforced error. As again, a strong run by the Utah forwards, a high tackle again by Utah State. And that is the third or fourth high tackle penalty of this game. Uh, not the best tackling going on. And three is a little bit slow to get up here. Unfortunate, as that was a quite a, a blatant high tackle uh, with Utah, with rugby rules being uh, any high tackle is a arm or contact anywhere above the shoulders to kind of protect that neck and head area. Um, unlike football, no helmets or shoulder pads here, so got to protect those vital, those vital body parts and vital appendages that house the brain and eyes and all other sorts of valuable, <laughs> all other sorts of valuable human body parts. He slowly gets up. Wish him the best. As Ian Taupuleolu comes on to replace him. Looks like Utah's up here ready to go. I right, to restart this, this game with a penalty kick. As he slowly winks his way off the field. Ref makes sure that all the players are safe. Well done. As Utah looks to kick out for some space, but the ball remains in. Second penalty in a row. Fortunately, the wing lets the ball bounce backwards, so that's not a knock on. Find some space, some speed there to accelerate through the gap. Utah State with some go forward ball now. Looking to restart it, slowly passing it down the line. Not gaining any yards, just losing Meter is going back, looking for something going forward. Lots of action going on, but a net negative loss there of two meters. As Utah State finds a gap, goes through for a couple meters there, lifts the leg, that is a dangerous tackle. Ref says that he let him go though, so no penalty. Fortunate there for Utah to avoid that. As the ball unfortunately bounces up into the hands and face and that's a knock on Utah State. Unfortunate there for Alex McCain, the fly half for Utah State. Uh, bad pass, bounces up into his chest, wasn't expecting it, goes into his chest, face and hands, and unfortunate knock on there. Utah now with a great attacking platform. They got their weak side wing on the left side. The remainder of their backs on the right. Expect maybe an eight pick off to the left with a scrum half supporting, and that's a penalty. Looks like the ref saw something he wasn't happy with on that side. Quick tap by the eight, but blown back. The refs often don't allow that to happen, uh, especially with all the props in there, all the forwards in the scrum. It's dangerous with everyone trying to get out too quick. Uh, so usually refs will take some time, allow them to get back and reset from that penalty as Utah now looks to kick this out, see if they make it. And they do with a great attacking line out just inside of the Utah State 22. Utah now taking some time to determine and wait for a ball, but looking for to determine a great attacking platform. Looks like they're gonna do a five-man line out with a pod right off right off that line out. Expect a, a quick pass to that forward pod and then a quick out pass to the backs to attack that edge. Uh, the way that this game's been going, Utah's probably gonna try and suck in a couple uh, inside defenders of Utah State, maybe the fly half and the inside center, bring them in to help it bring down those large Utah, Utah forwards, and then with a quick recycle can exploit that edge with some speed by the, by the Ute wing. 
They go to the middle pod. Again, quick pass to the forward. Out back. A little bit of trickery there by the forward. Look to exploit that, but Utah State doing well to slow play it. Utah found a little bit of a gap, keeps the ball in. Go down, reset it. Utah State over resource, but they were there. And Utah did not keep their feet in defending that ruck. When, bring, when going over the ruck there, uh, you have to stay on your feet to create a stable platform. When you lose your feet, it's dangerous, it's not clean, and the ref will penalize it every time, and he sure did there. So Utah State able to create some space there, looking for a line out, got the ball out, looking to defend themselves going forward. Five minutes left in the half. Utah State just on their 22 with a fully loaded line out. Early jump there by Utah, but not enough to create an up. Quick attack by the Utes. Great defense there, attacking speed. And that flanker was up fast, but Utah State fortunate to keep the ball. As Utah State looks to create a stable platform, create some meters. And again, Utah tries to go over. Quick tap, thought it was his ball, uh, but unfortunately not. Utah again trying to poach that ball, but loses his feet, wasn't rolling away, and just created a dirty breakdown. So the ref blew that up, gave the ball to Utah State, and hopefully they can create a bit of, bit of space and a bit of go-forward ball here going forward. With just four minutes left in this half, Utah State probably looking to exploit some gaps, take their speed, score quickly, and go into the half with some, on a positive note but they've got a lot of work ahead of them with about 80 meters to go against a very fierce and strict Ute defense. Utah State overthrows the front pod, bounces down, but the ref determined it was knocked on by the Utes. Some of the Ute players are not happy with that call, but the ref's word is law, and he's not going to take kindly to any talking back, so scrum down Utah State. The Utes shouldn't be too bothered about this, though, as they keep the ball in Utah State half, and three minutes left, not a whole lot of time for Utah State to march the ball down the field. Going for the feed in, Utah with a large push with their forwards, they win the ball. That is very rare to see in rugby. Unfortunate mistake there by Utah, though. Very unfortunate as they were attacking fiercely. Great opportunity by their forwards. Passed it out. Unfortunate mistake with a knock on. Uh, that is very rare to see a, a defensive scrum one. Uh, there's just so many advantages to the offensive put in uh, with the offensive scrum half putting it in, with the way that the scrums are lined up. So to see the defensive scrum push over the ball and win that, very impressive work by the Utah Utes scrummaging. Uh, I'm sure the coaching staff had a great great talk with them, great strategy in place to, to really push them off the ball, and we'll see if that happens again. And it does. They're pushing them back, but Utah State seems to keep the ball when they draw a penalty. So the Utah scrum, fierce with that large pack up front, charging and head with the quick tap, going ahead with the eight. He goes through, finds a gap, eventually is brought down by four, five, six Aggie defenders still going on his feet, getting pushed out to the side, resourcing across to try and get that ball back to reset, recycle, passes it out to the backs, skip pass over the top. They had an overlap, but unfortunate there, bouncing. They had a four, three, four man overlap there, but unfortunately the ball missed the hands. Utah State back with the ball. They're probably looking to keep the ball in hand as their set piece is getting blown up by these Ute defense. And it looks like the ref heard something that he was not happy with by the Utah defense, by the Utah, by the Utah Utes. Looking to have a talking to see what's going on here. And it's a card. It's a card. I believe that was talking to the ref. Uh, from what I've seen up here, Peyton Fontaine has been uh, chirping a little bit, unhappy with some of the calls by the ref. 
uh, that might have a little bit of a factor into it. As Utah, Utah State now has an opportunity to reset, kick the ball out, look into a line out. Hopefully we'll get a, a good platform here to try and get some space with 30 seconds left in the half. And again, that is a, a yellow card to Peyton Fountain, uh, whose brother, Schreider Fountain, actually plays for the BYU Cougars uh, as the scrum half. So they will be playing here in, I think, March. So that will be a great setup lineup there, brother against brother. Uh, Utah U's versus BYU uh, should be a great game there. But Utah State now with the ball, looking to throw this in. And Utah with an early jump. Utah State with a not straight pass and however Utah because they jumped early that's a penalty to Utah State when you're defending you can't jump early to try and defend that you've got to jump at least at the same time they throw it in uh, and Utah State not looking to deal with any more set pieces so they quick tap it pass it out look to have some speed they got some space great defense though by Utah as they bend don't break but a great bump there by the forward of Utah State some quick stepping, offloads going on. Again, some some great jungle ball being played here by Utah State as they continue to fight and scrape and use their athleticism. Another penalty against Utah. Another quick tap as they take it. Ethan McCain, another high tackle, but it's a knock on. Looks like he was slipping, so wasn't a high tackle. Ref is playing an advantage for a knock on. An exciting end to this half as we've got a cross-field kick, but taken well by the Utah State Aggies. Interesting choice there is they have some space, they have some movement to use their speed on the attack. Tries to pass it out, knock on Utah State, and it looks like that'll take us into half. Very exciting first half, two yellow cards, couple exciting tries, some speed by the Utah State Aggies, some great powerful running by the Utah Utes, a great rivalry game. The Utes up 24 to five. 15 minute halftime, exciting second half to come, surely uh, with some action packed rugby here to come in Harriman, Utah. Line out looking to restart this ball. Not the start that Utah State wanted, being behind, they wanted to get that ball, score quickly right into the second half. Ball not straight, thrown in by the Utah Utes. Utah State Aggies with the opportunity to now get the ball and hopefully get some points on the board early in this half to try and close this gap. Uh, once you're behind against Utah, very hard to come surmount that challenge as uh, those big bodies create a defensive wall that's hard to overcome. But Utah State with a great feed, passing it out to the backs, looking to continue that going, continue to feed it out wide. Out to the fullback, the wing. Eventually brought down, great defense there by the Utes, slow playing that on the outside. But again, on to the side, uh, did not come in through the gate. He was a tackler, but came in from the side. He has to reset back onto his side before he can go after the ball. Did not do that, so Utah State now gets the ball. Had a couple challenges getting it into touch in the first half. Doesn't seem to be a challenge here. Look out for that great court. kick. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, it would have been bad. As the Utah State Aggies Jonas, again look you. to continue to advance. If you it. missed the first half of this game, it will be online right after this. It was action packed. Two yellow cards, multiple tries, good hard running on by each team. Great defensive stands. Uh, highly suggest you go on there and get that as Utah State bounces that back out to their backs. Looking to again exploit that speed. Utah up quick in defense, but Utah State has that speed. He cuts it back inside, takes a couple Utes defenders with him, brought down at midfield. Looks like one of the centers for Utah got a little bit of an injury there. Gets up to be walking back. Utah State now on the attack, kicks it into touch. 
as they look to slowly march their way back up the field. Utah, though, doing well to keep the ball in front of them, slow play that on defense. Uh, they've been really good to defend that. Utah State looking to use their speed out wide, but Utah aware of that, well coached, well drilled, to be aware on that on defense and keeping everything right, right up in front of them. Utah State now with the full line out. Going into the front pod, great defense by Utah to kind of disrupt that, make it dirty. But Utah State brings it down, reset. They go out to their backs to run that play that they had set up off the line out. The center with a little bit of a fake, looping around wing. Great little play there by the fullback. Feeds it out wide, good draw and pass. Unfortunately, the ball goes to ground. Uh, no knock on, but the ref is playing advantage as he double blows the whistle. Looks like he might have another talking to, or at least wants to talk to his assistant referee there on the side, see what exactly was going on. Uh, didn't see some, something that he didn't like. As they take some time to quickly look at that. Um, Utah State coming out with some fire in the second half. Utah seems to be on the back foot. It was the exact opposite in the first half. Utah came out guns blazing, scored right off the bat, continued to score consistently throughout the first half with a lone score by Utah State. The Utes played the entire first half in the Utah State half, but this time Utah State seemed to be doing well. Not a no rap tackle was the call. So the ref wanted just to warn him about that. There have been three or four high tackles in the first half. A no wrap tackle there, so wants to get ahead of this uh, in what surely is a fiery rivalry game. Uh, already two yellow cards, so the ref going to make sure that discipline is paramount and he keeps control of, of these tempers and make sure that nothing gets too out of control. Utah State now slowly working up set piece after set piece. Not a whole lot of phases being put together here. Um, but might play to the strong suit of Utah State as they go to the front front pod. It's brought down. Scrum half there, barreling in to grab the ball. One pass. Gets it out wide. Looking to get it out wide even more to some speed. Unfortunately, it passes behind, goes to ground. Utah defense all over that. Utah defense is fierce and fiery. They are aggressive as can be, off the line quick. Hard for Utah State to get any kind of movement going with such a Strict defensive line there by the Utes. As another penalty is being called. Looks like that was offsides. A quick tap for Utah State. Looking to use that athleticism. Keep, catch the Utes off guard. Gain some good meters there. And a double whistle again goes into his pocket. Not happy with the breakdown being played in the first half so far in the first eight minutes. Reaches into his pocket and that's a yellow card. The yellow card in the first half for Peyton Fontaine seems to be expiring now. Uh, as soon as I get this number, I'll let you know who that was that was carded. But the ref again, looking to keep control of this game. That was the other flanker, Ethan Cherney, uh, who was carded for that. So 10 minutes for him in the sin bin as Utah State goes through some phases. Looking to draw in some of those Ute defenders, keep that size in towards the center as they look to use their speed on the outside, quickly passing it down the line, quick passing, nothing going, so decides to take it into the, take it into contact. Utah defense holding up strong. They go weak side, not a lot of support there, a lot of Ute defenders brought down easily as they again begin to recycle. Utah State Aggie driving through, keeps driving those legs, eventually is brought down alone forward there, but they get are able to recycle some of those that were in the original ruck back onto that new ruck for a new platform. Go weak side again, another lone runner, but he powers through and touches it down. A little bit of a risky play there, reaches, stretches, touches it down, and that's a try. Utah State's well represented here with a pretty good fan base. Uh, good little turnout here for both teams, so Love to see a nice crowd-packed rivalry game. Uh, and Utah State out with some, with some action, trying to close this deficit a little and keep this game close.
again. Great to see two Utah-based teams doing well to keep their programs alive as 10 looks to take this kick back parallel from where it was placed on the ground. Kicks it, not a lot of, not a lot of height, but barely misses it out to the left. Scores 24 to 10. Um, great to see two local Utah teams continue to build on their programs, uh, get a little bit more of a stable uh, system going with some great coaching staff being put in place, some great recruiting. Utah doing well to recruit outside of state as well as in state. Uh, they're continually posting of some great players being uh, recruited onto the team. So expect Utah to continue to grow and continue to build an awesome program uh, that will surely be a powerhouse here in no time. And Utah State, as always, a reliable athletic team, uh, continually working to, to build on that and get some players up north and build out some, some local talent up in Logan. Great high restart by Utah. Great take by the Aggies, though as Utah State now looks to recycle. The nine, however, is just mauled by the, Ute, by the Ute defense as the Aggies fight to keep control of that ball. Pass out to the forwards, unfortunate miss there. Another double whistle by the ref, seeing something he just does not like by the Utes. Might be a late hit. He reaches into his pocket again, and that's another card. That's another yellow card. It looks like it might be a no-wrap tackle. He already spoke with somebody at the beginning of the second half. Um, might be a different player, but two talking twos early in the early in the second half doesn't bode well there. Two youth players out for 10 minutes, uh, pretty close to each other. So there's going to be six, seven minutes, uh, 13 on 15. Utah State will hope to take advantage of that. Um, with their speed already taking advantage of some of the gaps in the first half, the Ute defense will have to be strict in keeping in their line, coming up together. Uh, their back three will be placed under a lot of work, so expect to see a lot of shifts and movements. Uh, sure, the Utah coaching staff is all over on top of that. See them yelling out instructions to their back three and to their, to their uh, captains and their uh, more veteran players to make sure that everyone understands the importance of defense. So should be an exciting couple minutes here. See if Utah State can take advantage of the, the two-man uh, overlap, score some points, and keep this game close and exciting. Utah State kicks it out, gains a couple meters. As again, I believe that was two Ute forwards that are out, uh, a prop and a flank. And I believe one of them was the was the prop that came in for an injury. So Utah State brings the ball down, goes forward, looking to run through some gaps there. Good get little gain there. Got some space on the wide here. They've got a couple, a couple players there driving forward. Bad handling there. Doesn't keep the ball secure. So the Utes have the ball inside the Aggie half. Uh, see if they're able to take advantage of that. If the Utes are able to score down two players, that will be huge for not only momentum, but building on that lead. And when those players come back into the game after serving their time, a uh, little big hit there. But it looks like that wasn't a wrap, so it might be a yellow card to the Aggies as he, he takes some time, talk to the AR. Again, not, expect nothing less from a a rivalry game with the Utah State Aggies and the Utah Utes. As he summons up the captain and the player at fault, reaches into his pocket, yellow card. Or yellow chip looks more like, not really a card. It, quite a small one, but that's 10 minutes. So five yellow cards in total in this game. I, 
I don't think I've ever seen a game there that much, but Utah tries to kick it out, misses. Great running kick there, keeps the ball in play. Going back, fullback, lots of space to attack. Nice little step there, nice step again. Little movement, runs behind one of his own players, stays in bounds, great athleticism there. Doesn't roll out as Utah now is attacking on the front fort, 13 on 14. Um, great bounce by that large prop by Utah, run through. And that is huge for Utah, being down a player, scores a try, gains some yardage, jumps on the snow, makes a snow angel, having fun. What else can you do when it's cold? Sam Belcher with a great try. Sure he's gonna need some oxygen after that one. Cold as well. Get him some oxygen, get him a sweater, get him some water, some hot chocolate as well. Help the man out. Again, just a quick recap, five yellow cards in this game. Uh, that is more than I think I've ever seen in any rugby game. Uh, so lots of intensity, lots of, lots of hard tackling, lots of uh, chirping back and forth. The ref trying to stay on top of it, but what, 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 what else can you expect from a great, great couple of teams, some great athletes, some great competitors out here having fun in the cold. keeping this great fan base that's out showing up, entertained. As an unfortunate miss there, goes wide, wide, wide right. Ian Wormer doesn't strike that one very well, but the youths are still up 29-10 with 25 minutes left in the half. Looks like there's still a couple minutes left on the first yellow card of this half. Ethan Cherney uh, still has some time to, to serve on his penalty. And the restart with this wind slowly picking up, drifts back almost to the midpoint line. And the Utes will opt for a scrum with two of their forwards missing. As Sam Longy comes on, he was injured in the first half, but they need a prop to go on in order to scrum. They can't take up, they can't bring on the his replacement. So quite an interesting little thing here. They have to bring on a prop because the one of the yellow carded members was a prop. So they'll bring out a a back in order to bring in Sam Longy, who was injured halfway through the first half, was replaced. The player that replaced him was yellow carded, so he's back on the field now. The back comes off so that he has time. Next dead ball, he the back will then go back on and Sam Longy will come back out. Um, just an interesting little thing there because scrummaging is a critical and important feature of the game. It, safety is paramount, so best to have players that know how to scrum are in there. So scrums are a little bit lopsided there, not a lot of players. Little scrappy defense there, but intentional knock and it's a penalty to the Utes as Cherney served his time is back on the field number seven as the Utes will look to gain some territory now with the numbers matched up 14 on 14 and looks like the ball barely gets out of bounds just outside of the 22 with a great attacking platform everything lined up and ready to go so should be an exciting remainder of this half now with a five-man line out. They've been going to the middle of the pack. Sam Longy stays in. Uh, ball not straight. It's a little bit of an error there by Cherney. Sam Longy stays in, and the wing that they brought out to replace him is staying out. So numbers are remaining 14 against 14. Got a substitute going in. Gennaro Viorillo is replaced by Gianni Coraci. Coraci. 
Again, apologies on the mispronunciations of the name. I didn't have the, the sheet to show how they're pronounced, so trying my best as I read them as I go. Utah State now with the put in. Putting all their backs on the left-hand side there, feeding it in. Might look to go straight to the out, out in the back, trying to again exploit these numbers of their backs with the U wing out. Might have a little bit of advantage there, but staunch defense by the Utes as always. As again, the Aggies look to feed it out wide. The ball goes a wire. Knock on, and the Utes take advantage of that. And a great run here. Oh, but tries to offload it right into the hands of the Aggies. But looks like the Utes keep possession of it as they keep powering forward again. The Utes hard to stop down there in the, down there in the try zone. And that's a try. And that looks like it might be, I can't see their number. It might be Cherney who scored that. Or it might be Peyton Fontaine. Looks like that was Peyton Fontaine that scored that one. Served his time, thought about it, was determined to come out and make an impact and did exactly that. Peyton Fontaine, actually a local grown hero here in Harriman, Utah. Uh, went to high school at Harriman, played for the, the great Harriman Mustangs rugby team, and now he's at the Utes. Look out for that cord. Do not trip on that cord. We would not want any. <laughs> Thank you. Ian Wormer now lines up his kicks. He's about 50% on his kicks today. Uh, hopefully we'll slot this one through and we'll build on that lead. As he just brings it to the left a little bit, not able to bring that ball through those uprights. And it looks like we might be close to the end of the time served for one of the yellow cards for the Utah prop, Ian Taupuleu Liu. Aggies here set to restart and go straight out. So that's either option to have a line out or midfield scrum and Ian's yellow card is over. So now Utah has the player advantage, uh, 14 on 15. Aggies were not able to take advantage of that 13-15 two-man overlap uh, while they had it. Unfortunate for them but Utes were fortunate to keep that defense strong and score a couple times while being down a couple men. So great work by the Utah Utes and unfortunate for the Aggies as the Utes now split up their backs, three and three on each side. See what they're going to do here. Looks like an eight-man pick out to the right. The fly half comes over from the left-hand side. Unfortunate handling error there. They had a little bit of an overlap. Aggies weren't really set up to defend that well. Um, so consider themselves lucky. A quick pick by the scrum half to nowhere. There was not a whole lot of defense there. Aggies over the top, slowing down the ball, but not able to create a penalty. As Peyton Fontaine breaks the line and goes down, Utah Utes now looking to recycle quick. Nice long pass out to the forwards, charging onto the ball. Gain the couple meters. Again, these hard running Utes, hard to bring down on initial contact. So the Aggies have to commit a few players to bring them down. As again, another high tackle. Looks like the refs got an advantage playing there. See what the Utes can take, take advantage with that. As the Utes again keep it with their forwards, running hard onto that ball. Great go forward ball by the Utes. Great patterns, great setup. Really well structured here for the Utes. As they feed it out wide, they had an overlap, but they cut it back inside. Unfortunately there, the wing probably would have been through to the try line. But they slowly recycle, make sure that the platforms are set up for an attacking lineup. Unfortunate handling error there, but it went back. The ref not calling a knock-on. Huge overlap, four on one. Scraping defenders for the Aggies. Keeps the ball, however, plows through them. Gains a couple meters. 
Goes down. Utes looking to reset that. Ball goes out. Fend. Not a lot going on there. As the Utes now have another overlap, but a little bit of a dummy. Keeps the ball. Penalty. Looks like we have offsides as the call against the Aggies. See what the Utes decide to do here. I don't be surprised for a scrum since they do have the numbers. They do have the power. But it looks like they might just go straight for a tap. And they do keep it with their strong forwards. A little bit of a dummy there by a skillful eight. Powers through, dives over beneath the posts. No call yet. Ball is being fed back. Trying again, and that is a try. Another try to the Utah Ute forward pack. They are just hard to stop with so much speed and power. Uh, not easy for the Aggies to bring them down on initial contact. And the Utah Utes are doing well to play their game against the Aggies, making sure that the Aggies don't get the ball out wide or play to their strength, which is speed. The Utah Utes doing well to keep the ball with their forwards, keep the ball with their hard ball runners. And they're uh, racking up the points now in the second half, 39 to 10. Should be an easy kick here as they chip it over. Slots it down the middle with 15 minutes left in the second half. Utah Utes are up 41 to 10. Aggies now looking to restart this ball. Kicks it down just outside the 22. The Utes take it down. Quick pass. Smothered by the Aggie defense, though. Lots of space behind the Aggie defense. See if the Utes are looking to kick this behind. They do, but kicks it straight to the fullback. As he takes that well, he counter kicks it. Great little decision there. Finds some space, bounces over the fullback. He's chasing it down. One on one, quick step by the Ute. Ute fullback gains a couple meters. Great go forward ball. Net gain of about 10 meters. So not a bad decision by the Utes there to play a little bit of a kicking game in this cold weather. Utes again keeping it with their strong power runners. Another kick by the Utes. Find some space to the left. Not well executed as again goes straight to the wing. But the Ute, counter, the Ute attack is right there. The Aggies though find some space. They might have some space on this outside. Great fend. As he continues attacking, great offload to the scrum half, who's quickly taken down by a strong, powerful Ute defender. Aggies now looking to attack just on the 22 of the Utes. Quick dummy there, but straight into the Ute defense. Again, great defense by the Utes, coming up hard in a line. Quick feedback, oh, and a bumping, thumping tackle against the nine. That is rough. Look out. Yep. Sorry, no, you're good. Aggies now continue to build phases on, looking to draw on some defenders of the Utes, but the Utes are staying strict in defense, really well drilled. Ball goes over the head, down to the feet of the Aggies. Great bump there. That was a rebound. Physicality being shown, nobody's letting up, not even in the second half. This is some great rugby continually being played, played towards the end of the game. Tried to chip it over, doesn't make great contact with it, so doesn't go where he wants it to. However, the Aggies get it back after a little bit of ball bouncing. Some different skills being played, different kicks, different thumping tackles, different bumps going on. A little bit of an offload there. My goodness. Everywhere you look, some action's going on. Sparks are flying. The Aggies now get the ball. Got an overlap on the left-hand side. See if they can recycle it fast enough. They keep the ball with the forwards. Pick and go. Gain a couple meters. Get closer to the line. 
Again, another pick and go. Go over the, go over the try line and it's a try. So the Aggies showing off a little bit of skills, a little bit of diversity in, in what they're able to do. Some chips, some bumps, some physicality. Sending it back to the Utes. The whole game long, the Utes have been taking it to the Aggies with physicality and that set of phases there, uh, the Aggies, you know, showing that they can be a little bit physical as well. So entertaining, fun to watch, some great rugby. And a try to the Aggies might be a little bit too little too late as it's 41-15 now. See if the Aggies are able to score a couple times, but with 10 minutes left, it might be too big an ask and the Utes might have this away in a great in-state rivalry. But the Aggies aren't gonna go down without a fight. They are putting up a great performance toward the end of this game. Love to see them fighting to the very end. That's what rugby is all about. Continually fighting. Uh, there's no letting up at all. No way to burn the clock. It's either score or get scored on. The Aggies understand that and they're continually working hard, building up their physicality. So love to see it. Love to see the last 10 minutes of this game continue to show off some, some great rugby. That one is slotted through. Now 41-17 to the Utah Utes. Utes now taking their time, bringing the ball back up. Looking to restart this. We're going to end this game with a bang. Utah now still taking their time to reset this ball, burning some of the clock. Unnecessary. They have quite a lot of quite a lot of points and not enough time for the Aggies to make something up with it. So Utah now resets another great restart. High and right where he wants it. You attack it right there, but the Aggies pick it up. Aggies now with another great attacking platform. If they're able to score quickly and often, they might have a chance, but they cannot dilly-dally around. They have to get right after it. But the Ute defense is too strong, too structured. It'll be hard for them to score quickly with such a great defensive team. Aggies passing it out wide. Again, looking to exploit some of that weakness on the outside. But the Aggies doing well with defense. Looks like we might have a kick being placed in by the fly half. Well covered by the Utes though. Again, back three playing extremely well, not only with the kick defense, but actual defense of moving back and forth. The Aggies received that, moving forward, brought down. Aggies didn't gain a whole lot of yards there with that kick, but lucky enough to get it back. Ute defense up hard, but high tackle penalty. No card this time, fortunate there. As the ref has been carding those recently with five yellow cards in this game. Some strong tackle by the Utes, but better offloads by the Aggies keeps them moving forward. U Aggies now passing it out. Great offload there to draw them in, tackle. The Aggies now with some go forward ball, eventually brought down by the Utes. Aggies now looking to quickly recycle, pass it out to the weak side. Great offloading ball. The Utes are over the top of it, though. Looks like they might have it, and they do. They poach that ball. They stole it. Great steal by the Utes there to get over that ball, but unfortunately, trying to get that ball back, knocked it on. So great steal, legal poach, great, great structure there to try and get over that ball and steal it, and they did. But in trying to get the ball back to their own team, 
unfortunately knocked it on and the Aggies are continuing their attack. Seven minutes left in this game. Aggies are not gonna be letting up anytime soon. Continually pushing hard, fighting hard and keeping this game entertaining. Scrum down on 22. Aggies are playing close, not really spread past the midpoint line of the, of the field. The Ute scrum, though, just completely blows them off, but penalty to the Aggies. Ref saw something he didn't like. Again, the rules are of the scrum are complex and oftentimes not easy to see, but the refs are well-trained and well-versed in the rule book, so they're able to identify what might be looking like a dominant scrum for one team is a penalty and is awarded to the other team. Aggies now with a line out looking to end this game off with a, with a bang. See if they can put a quick try in and score another. Close the gap and the Utes with their great defense looking to hold them out and keep this score how it is with an impressive score margin. The Utes are hosting a really well drilled well-represented Grand Canyon University team next week. Uh, highly ranked and on a, uh, on a path to try and make a name for themselves up in Utah. So should be an exciting match there. The Utes playing against a, a ranked team and hopefully they can come out strong and represent the university well and play well. Aggies now with a throw in. Misses everything and goes to the back. The Utes now take the ball down. Great offload by the 10. Feeds it off. Ball goes down. The Utes now probably looking to keep this ball in hand for a little bit. Might want to create a stable platform where they can clear this ball out. Gets up. Passes it to the forward. Back to the fly half. It's blocked, though. Mum messing around with it. He doesn't catch it. Tries to kick it out. And the Aggies jump on it. Crazy turn of events there, unfortunate as the Utah Ute 9 tries to pass it to the flanker. Flanker wants to get it to the fly half. It looks like that might have been the call to get it to the fly half initially the entire time. So little mistake there, tries to kick it, gets blocked, uh, doesn't go ball into hand, tries to kick it out instead, but misses everything and the Aggies are fortunate enough to jump on top of it. Again, might be a little bit too late, uh, but great, exciting end to this game. Love to see it, fighting to the very end. The Aggies representing themselves well, played really hard, playing, uh, trying to play to their strengths and doing well with that. But the Ute defense, the Ute size, the Ute power, too hard to stop, especially when they get down by the goal line. Um, but great, great points by both teams, looking to build off this going forward. The Utes looking to build on that for their game next week against Grand Canyon. Uh, should be a great matchup as the Aggie takes this kick, misses it just low with three minutes left in the game. Score now 41-22. Utes now looking to restart this kick. Kicks it deep, trying to get some territory so the Aggies don't have an opportunity to come and score some more points. Aggies probably want to end this game with even more of a bang. Great offload there, running down the, running down the sideline, doesn't have enough space, gets pushed out into the snow pile. Must be cold. Aggies looking to quickly go, but Utes are inclined to slow it down a little bit, take their time. With only two minutes left, looking to take their time.
Utes miss the line out. Ball goes rolling around. Ball is placed down now. Utes with an attacking platform. Send it out wide. Utes now looking to maybe score some points of their own and lead, end this game on a high note for themselves. Go piling over. Utes again, hard running by the forwards. Impressive running as go forward ball. This is going to be hard for anyone to stop. Such large bodies. High tackle there. No call by the ref though. Looks like it wasn't too egregious. Looks like it was a knock on by the Utes. The Aggies now have some attacking opportunity. With only a minute left, each team probably scrambling, looking to score the final points of the game. Aggies looking to attack. Great thumping tackle there by the eight man. Solid tackle, great form. Tries to step, loses his footing. Utes are over the top of it, doesn't release. And there's a penalty and that might be the game as the Utes will take their time, slowly work on it. Penalty to the, to the Utah Utes for not releasing, getting the ball over in time. Penalty on the Utah, uh, an injury for the Utah Utes, however, as they're gonna take some time, take a look at this injury and that might take it to the end of the game, uh, depending on how the ref has it in his watch. Again, he has the official time. Uh, we have 20 seconds here, but all in all, a, a great game being played, some great skills shown. Uh, Utah showing that they are well-drilled, well-coached with this new coaching staff. They've got the right pieces in place to make an impact. Uh, really exciting to see them continue to build on that platform. Uh, should be a great game against a ranked Grand Canyon University next week uh, here at home. So expecting some, some great play by, by Utah to continue to build off this win and, and you continue to build on their strengths. Uh, Grand Canyon is a large team, a well-skilled team as well. So should be a great matchup, a close game, and hopefully Utah will come out on top there as the injured players slowly helped off the field. The Aggies will continue to play a couple games going forward as well. They play most of their games in the fall, so uh, love to see them continue to play games in the spring, uh, continue to play a beautiful sport that they love, and continue to grow a, a great culture in the state of Utah. Injured player now carried off. Looks like some of the players saying he was taking too long, so wanted to get him off sooner rather than later. As the Utes will look to get some, get some mileage here with that kick into touch just outside the 22. Let's see what they decide to do. Wouldn't be surprised if they try and score some of the points on their own, try and build on in an in-game practice to work on some of their game strategy for a big game next week so expect them to try out some some different strategies some different uh, set pieces some different setups and not end this game just by kicking it out love to see it playing to the very end great hard running here straight up the middle great fend great bumping off takes again three four Aggies to bring him down Quick recycle there by the Utes. Great overlap. Ball goes through the hands. A little bit of handling error. Unfortunate there. Had about a three on one. And game ends on a knock on. Great game by both sides. Utah State Aggies, University of Utah Utes. Uh, final score 41 to 22. Again, uh, Utah will be playing Grand Canyon University next week here at Harriman. Um, thanks again to Game on Live Studio. Great presentation, great production, and uh, we'll see you guys next week.